Chris Worldwide Adventures YouTube channel. I bought a classic Winnebago RV. And today we are putting on a new electric fuel pump. So we have to drop the fuel tank and uh, access the uh, fuel pump and replace it. I have the fuel pump here. You guys might not be able to see in here because it's too dark, but this is this is my RV. It's a work in progress, so don't don't judge me yet. Got a full size shower, back bed bedroom, nice size bathroom. It's got a full size refrigerator. Plenty of closet space. It's got these nice vents. One there and one there that lets a lot of natural light in. Full size kitchen. Don't mind the condition right now because I'm doing renovations and work. Dining room table. More cabinet space. This is the living room. More cabinet space. And I got the front closed off. So, this is the RV. It's a 1989 Winnebago Super Chief. Got it for a real good deal here in LA. Just, it's gonna need a lot of work. And I'm going to take my time and do it. But it's almost like a little one-bedroom apartment. And we, we are up under here. Lowering this fuel tank right there. And in that fuel tank is the fuel pump. So once we get that lowered, and replace the fuel pump, it'll start pumping fuel to the secondary fuel pump, which is a mechanical one on the motor. So when that stopped working, it, um... So far it's going good, I almost got the one out. Oh, good. I need some good news. Got my, got my mechanic here, helping out. I'm, I'm trying to help as much as I can. And, uh, hope and pray that it comes comes down and everything goes smooth and get it started. It's parked here on the street. Who are you talking to, girlfriend? Uh, no, I'm on the uh, YouTube channel. You're on YouTube? Yeah, I got a YouTube channel. I do um, YouTube videos. You're filming me? Yeah, I, I just asked you, remember? I didn't get your face. Okay. So yeah, we're on this main street here. Um, it's kind of tricky. Uh, uh, this is where I bought it at, and uh, I don't have any problems over here, so I'm just going to try to stay here for a little bit as long as possible but uh, yeah this is my new project I sold my school bus and um, the school bus was just gonna be too much to Sorry, I got that one. awesome we're, we're, we're making progress so um, I'll come back and give you guys an update there's my car And there she is, in all her glory. I've had the uh, carburetor rebuilt so far. I've had the throttle cable. It was sticking, I had that replaced. Um, what else have I had done? The uh, mechanical fuel pump's already been replaced. Um, and I also have an airbag issue in the rear that I'll have to address next. But I can see a hose hanging down, so maybe it's just a matter of 
putting that hose back up or buying a new one and putting it up. But I'll definitely come back and update you guys again. Chris Worldwide Adventures, sorry I haven't checked in earlier, but it's been a lot going on. But I'll, I'm gonna start back recording uh, uh, this new project here, give you guys some good um, uh, material. I'm here in Los Angeles and the housing is so expensive. Uh, so I wanted to go an alternative way. I sold my school bus and I bought this. And, and this is a 454 uh, Chevrolet. It's on a P30 chassis with, with a four barrel carburetor. I believe it's a Rochester carburetor. So um, it's gonna take some money, it's gonna take some time, patience, but uh, it's a project that will help me and my dog in the future. There's two roof ACs. Um, everything is real wood. Um, I've driven it before. It drives really good. It just, it's just going to need some motor work. So I'm checking out. I will talk to you guys again. Bye.